As we enter, come make we take it on the biggest adventure Must be dementia, that you ever thought you could touch our credentials What's the initials? You be jam rock the lyrics Yo, what's going on guys? This is Misery Mods. Welcome back to the channel. What I've got for you today is a very easy card duplication and it is completely solo. Following this tutorial guys, you'll be able to make millions of pounds on GTA Online. Requirements for this glitch guys, you do need to own a facility and in one of your slots in the facility it needs an LG RHA or a Fagio. You also need for this glitch an MOC and what you want to do is pack your MOC just like I have on a bit of a hill to stop any animation at the back. So in other words guys, when we go in the back we don't want to see any ramp so basically no animation whatsoever so just park like i have and you'll have no problems the other requirement for the glitch guys we do need a leicester high setup okay so as you can see i've got one there taking me to the pack standard if you haven't got one guys start up a fleecer job or anything as long as you've got that alert now guys what you want to do is just make your way in back of your moc now in the back of the MLC I have got the custom retro the reason i'm going to copy this custom retro because it is worth the most money to sell so get in your custom retro and make your way outside of your MOC. Now once you do spawn outside what you're going to do is just drive back over to your MOC. Now you want to go to the blue light so you are getting the indicator asking you do you want to enter the MOC. Now at this point guys on the PlayStation you want to get your recent activities ready. You'd hit right D-pad accept and deny your activity holding the accelerate down all times. As guys on the Xbox, what you want to do is find your friend in a different tag mode. You're going to spam join game and you're going to spam it until that menu disappears. As soon as it disappears, we're going to hit right in the D-pad and we are going to hold down on the accelerator. And once we get that, guys, we are going to accept the first alert and deny the second, still holding the accelerator at all times. Now what should happen, guys, is your MOC should disappear. If it doesn't, guys, just do it again until that MOC disappears. But it's very important at this stage, guys, you do not let go of that accelerator. So what we're going to do now is we're just sitting on the screen with the accelerator down until our MOC pops back up. And if done correctly, the MOC will pop back up and you will shunt forward because you have held your accelerator. From here, guys, this is actually a duplicate now, okay? This is a duplicate. Now, as you can see, um, you'll notice that your number plate hasn't changed. Don't worry, um, the glitch is not done yet. But that is pretty much it. Your duplicate is actually there. Your original is still in the back of your MOC. So from here, guys, what you want to do is make your way inside of your facility. Now, once you are in the facility, what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to make our way over to that free LG or Fagio that you've put in one of your slots inside of your facility. Now, once you have made your way over, you are going to notice your number plate, okay? So check out the number plate on the car now or the bike that you are about to use. Now this number plate guys, this is this car is what we are going to um, take the number plate off. And this car is going to be replaced with that, um, with that custom retro. So check out the number plate. From here guys, bring up your high setup. Now what you are going to do is go to the second alert basically and you're going to accept the heist and you're going to press the accelerator exactly the same time. Now, if done correctly, what that's going to do, guys, is going to load you into your heist room. Now, this loading, you know, screen can last up to, you know, a couple of minutes, but don't worry about that. Now, once you do spawn down inside of your high stream, what you want to do from here is just deny it, okay? So we're just going to back out of that. And what you want to do from here, guys, is just make your way outside. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this now, guys. You could even just jump in a streetcar, but what you do not want to do is call a personal vehicle. We need to make our way back up to our car, which is by our facility. So like I said, you can grab a streetcar, drive up there, do whatever. But this is the easiest way, guys. What we're going to do now is we're just going to find a job close by our facility so we can teleport. 
Now, if you haven't got any like I have there, what you want to do is bring up your interaction menu, okay? And make sure that you haven't got the jobs hidden. So as you can see, there's no jobs and events because I have actually got them turned off. But there's my facility. And what I want to do, so what I'm going to do is just bring my interaction menu up and I'm going to go to the hide options. As you can see, I'm going to have them all turned off. So I'm just going to activate them so they're all showing. Now what you want to do is just like um, bring your interaction menu up, make sure they're all showing. Then again, just bring your map back up. Now as you can see, I've got all the jobs and events. So find one right next to your facility. So I've got a race just by there. So what you want to do is press X and start up that race. It doesn't really matter what the event is. It can be a, a, a race, a mission. It doesn't matter, you know, as long as it's a job. Just select one right next to that and we're just going to start that up. Now what you want to do guys on the PlayStation you would get again get your recent activity ready okay. Um, but guys on the Xbox what we're going to do is once we are in that lobby once again we are going to go and find a friend in a different target mode. So I'm just going to find a friend here. And again, all we're going to do is we're going to request to join them. We're going to accept the first alert and we're going to deny the second. And you guys on the PlayStation would do it pretty much exactly the same. You go to join your friend, hit your recent activity and then deny it. So as you can see, we have now spawned pretty much close um, to our facility. I was just checking out where my car was because what you'll notice now is we haven't well you'll notice it before but we haven't actually got the car logo now okay there'll be no um, picture of the car inside of that map anymore because now guys this is not your personal vehicle remember this is the duplicate so what we're gonna do is just make our way over to that car it should still be there now the number plates gonna be exactly the same until I pretty much just jump in it as you can see now the number plate will change boom so it's changed and it is actually the number plate of the car or the Fagio that you had inside your facility. So from here guys what you want to do is request your MOC. Now once the MOC out you know pretty much just make your way down. Now I did have a couple of people because I am actually in an online session doing this glitch. Now there was someone very close to me here, so I just stopped for a sec and put yourself in passive mode, okay? So it's probably a lot easier to put yourself in passive mode from the start. And what you want to do now is just drive into the back of your MOC. Now it is going to say it's full, so you're just going to swap it, because don't forget your original retro is still inside there. So that is pretty much just going to go into your facility. And now this is your duplicate completely saved. So as you can see the number plate 435 just like that car we had in the facility and watch guys when I leave the MOC I am actually going to spawn across the map in town okay. I'm going to be in the city and that is it guys that car is completely yours and you can pretty much just rinse and repeat this same glitch. So I hope you you know enjoyed the video please smack a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and it's been a pleasure guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.